so that can live to fight another day. So we've now prepared our printer for the installation. We can leave the carriage on this position. The, the mains is out of, the, out of the, the printer at the back and that enables us to move the carriage up and down as we like. But we'll leave it there for the time being and we'll now turn our attention back to uh, uh, filling the reservoirs and also um, uh, uh, priming the cartridges. So this is the second stage and we're going to change the camera angle yet again so we can we can see what we're doing. So let's move the camera angle back and that's my target. What I do is I, I aim my camera for that, uh, that rectangle so I make sure I do all of my work around that rectangle there. So that's my target and that's where I've got to work. So let's take our, our inks away. Now in this case I've got to make sure that we do our demo with one of the inks. Now the ink I've left is in this case the uh, I've left a I've left a, a, a matte black. So here we go. Where are we now? Find the find the matte black. I'm sure we've got it here somewhere. Where's that matte black? There we are. There it is. There we are. So there's the matte black. So let's take this out of the way. Let's move things a bit further. Now, out of this, out of this, uh, out of this little bin, you will find a um, a plastic bag. Now that plastic bag is important to us, so we'll put that there. Move that out of the way. Now in our plastic bag, we've got nine syringes. Let's just tip it all out so you can see what we're doing. We've got nine syringes which we're going to need. Nine syringes. We've got an alcohol wipe. We've got little bumpers here which, which make the lid come up. We've got a piece of technology here that enables us to, to run the printer with the lid upwards. And finally, we have nine little breathers here. So we can put these off to one side, but we're going to refer to these fairly shortly. So we need to push those off to one side. And let's introduce, so that's the ink we're going to do the demonstration with. Um, and we're going to actually get our our demo setup that actually we've cheated. It's far better to cheat with these with these things. So we've already filled up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, reservoirs. But what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how we fill up a typical reservoir. But of course, we'll want you to do all of them. So inside the inside the the, the pack, you'll find these nice little these nice little disposable funnels. Once you've used them, you can throw them away, but a lot of people like to keep hold of them. Um, so this is the matte black section on this side here. Let's get this in the middle of shot. Actually see. And we simply take this off. So the first, the first stage is obviously filling up these reservoirs. So that's matte black, Lyson Photochrome R28 ink, matte black, and that's matte black there. So we simply fill this up nice and easy. It was a straightforward. And that goes straight in. It pours all the way in. Now, Lyson are extremely careful with the integrity of their inks. This is loaded in a clean air environment. It goes straight into a nice clean uh, reservoir. We dispose of the funnel. We get ourselves a nice bit of. Uh, Nice bit of um, nice bit of cloth to wipe the top of there. Where's our white bit of cloth? That's it. Let's not pass over the front of the camera. It's uh, a nice nice bit of cloth. There we are. So we're just going to make sure everything's nice and clean, and we put that back. And we're going to put one of these little breathers. Now let's show you a close up of the breather. We're going to put the we're going to put the the thick side of the breather into the top there. Okay, so that one's done. So we do the same for the yellow. So we put the, we pour the yellow ink into here. And at the back there there's a little hole, breather hole. We put a little breather at the back there. See that breather? The next one, magenta, we top that one up. 
and we put the breather in the magenta. In this case, it's it's actually vivid magenta for the for this particular printer. Here we've got the cyan, and we've topped up the cyan, and we put the breather in the cyan. And then we've got the photo black here. That's the photo black. So that's photo black. That's matte black. The next one is the light black. So we filled up this one. We put the breather in, in this side. And we've got the, the light cyan. Again, we put another breather there. We put uh, the vivid light magenta. We've got a breather for that one. Let's shove that in there. And then finally, we've got the light, light black on this side. So we put the breather in there like so. Now we show here one of our universal drip trays. Now these drip trays are really good, they're £25 each but they're worth it because you can actually move your printer from place to place quite successfully with the system. A lot of our customers do this. Plus of course when you're topping up your inks in use it's nice to have this little bit here just in case you get a little minor disaster you never know you might get a little spillage there and at least it's held all together so a lot of our customers do go for these little drip trays so that's the universal drip tray and you'll find that on the website and they're 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 they're, they're uh, 25 pounds each so we've filled up our, our our reservoirs now what we do is we turn our attention to the to the um to the cartridges now this is the way the setup is supplied to us except of course what I've done here for the purposes of the video is I've actually filled up eight of the lines already because I'm sure you don't want to wait for me to to uh, 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 to, to load all eight channels that would be a bit a bit uh, a bit boring so we're going to get one of the one of the cartridges now in this case it's the it's the matte black I've already had already had a dummy run at this incidentally so you can see a little bit of ink already in here but imagine this was clear okay because this is the way it would be uh, in use and what we do is we get hold of the little bung that's in the top there now let's show you the little bung I've got a little screwdriver here to show you let's get up close to the camera and that little bung there is the bung that we're going to take out and we're going to we're going to pull the ink through with this little removable bung so let's bring this down and we're going to we're going to just take the take the uh, take the bung out and we're going to put the the syringe we've got one syringe for each of the colors so we push that in now Let's get up close to the camera to do this job. And I'll, I'll put a bit of light on there as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull, can you see the ink coming into the cartridge? Look at that. It's come, it's come all the way up the tube and we're pulling it up and you can see the cartridge fill up with ink. Now you'll be doing this for each of the colours. Okay, and you can see the first of the ink enter the enter the syringe. Ho hopefully, I've got the cartridge in the right position for you to see. We can then take out the take out the syringe, and straight away we put the little bung back in, and that's completed the circuit for the matte black. So we've we filled up the matte black reservoir, we've pulled through the ink into the matte black cartridge, and the cartridge comes all nicely bound together with elastic bands and the matte black actually just sits underneath the 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 um, it sits underneath the tubing as you can see 